Welcome back to my channel. I'm Nicole Lazo, and this video will cover what to do on a self-guided tour of Antibes, France. We're gonna start with the Cape of Antibes. This is an amazing hike that you can take, followed by a beach stop where you can have lunch, and then you should go hit the old town of Antibes to try some amazing treats and go shopping. Let's go. Antibes is a beautiful city located on the French Riviera between Nice and Cannes. We started our day with a three mile walk that covers the whole south side of the Cape of Antibes. If you Google this coastal path name, you're gonna find the parking lot that you wanna park in and head over towards the path. We're taking a stroll down the Cape of Antibes and it's beautiful water and it goes all the way out to the mountains. Taking a walk along the Cape is a perfect activity if you're looking for something free to do, something to keep you active, and just the perfect way to see the beautiful landscape of Antibes. This is a great little walk along the Cape. Um, I hear it's closed if it's windy and there are a lot of waves, but right now it's a clear day and you can see everything around, sailboats, Nice is right behind us, and I love it. This walk was almost like a hike. There was a cleared out pathway for us to walk on, but sometimes you were just walking across the rocks and sometimes you got pretty close to the water on the cliff side, but they had beautiful spots that you could stop and take a photo, take a rest, hang out for a second. So I saw some people with lunch and they sat down by the water. Um, it kind of depends on how long you want to stay there. This is the perfect walk for all levels. We weren't using any type of hiking shoes or anything, but I did see people at all different levels of mobility and they were doing just fine. You can always just turn around when you're done and head back the same way you came, but it does make a full circle loop when you get to the end. And we definitely enjoyed the breathtaking views of this walk. Really quick, if you haven't already, please like this video and consider subscribing. Back to the trail. So it was really interesting at the end, it turned into a really rocky area and we just kind of walked through it. By this time you are super hot and you're direct sun. So please make sure you bring a hat, use some sunscreen, bring some water with you because there's nowhere to stop along the trail. But at the end, they have beautiful spots you can go take a swim at. So I wish I had my bathing suit with me. We were planning on swimming a little later on in the day. So stay tuned for that. But look at this water. If you have a boat, you can bring your boat right in the same area on the south side of the Cape. It was breathtaking. We did it, we finished. We exited that gate right there. I would definitely bring your bathing suit because at the end there's a place to swim, but it was so beautiful the whole way. Now we have to walk to our car. Our next destination was also on the south side of the Cape, so we can go to this lookout point and have a look all around the French Riviera. It's a lovely day in Antibes for a day at the beach. Antibes is full of beautiful beaches. We were staying with friends while in Antibes and this is their favorite beach. It's amazing, you can see it right from the street. It's not hidden or anything, but it was the perfect place for us to grab some lunch and head to the sand. Luca did what he always does, digging a hole and burying himself. Antibes is also popular because Pablo Picasso used to vacation here in the 1940s. He took this famous photo with one of his wives, so we took it as well. The water here is very calm, so people were using paddle boards, kayaks, and just swimming really far out, and you can see all the way down. Next, we visited the old town of Antibes, which is a beautiful old town that has a wall around it for medieval times and Ooh, delicious things to go try. Ooh, cheese. My favorite thing that I had in old Antibes was from Gelateria del Porto. This was a really good ice cream shop that had really unique flavors. I think I got basil mint and lavender, but they wrap it up so beautifully. You choose two flavors and they make a rose shape out of it. So it can be really bright and different colored if you plan it right. It was amazing. If you are in search for that quintessential European town, Old Enti visit. There is also a public beach right on the side of the walled city of Old Antibes. It's free and it was a little busy, but if you're looking for a quick dip in the ocean, that would be a great spot. 
This is the backside where you can see the wall right on the water. There is also a Picasso museum here, one of two in the world. As you can imagine, there are cafes that come out onto the cobblestone streets of the town and cute little things like farmer's markets. This is right outside the walls where they had an area to go try fresh honey, they have local crafts that you can buy, and a little nursery. Last but certainly not least is the Sean Le Pen area of Antibes. This is right on the water as well, so you can go swimming during the day. They have restaurants on the beach, in the town, right around it. There's also more shops and bars and restaurants, so this is kind of a more lively part of the area. We saw some guys doing capoeira performances right on the street. Look at this beach. You cannot go wrong with spending a day here. I obviously loved it. I hope you did as well and you learned something new about Antibes and are looking forward to visit one day. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future travel videos. Next, we are going to go to Var, France, where we spend a day at the winery and the beach. See you then.